Hi YouTube, M6CB, back again with another video. Uh, today I wanted to do a review of the Hang Tenor. Now this is the, if you watched my last video, you saw I briefly mentioned it in there. Uh, I've been testing it over a couple of days, an absolutely fantastic antenna. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll open the box, show you what you get in the box, uh, have a close up of the antenna, and then I'll show you how I install it at home. And uh, I'll probably do an on air test as well, so you can just sort of see. Um, so yeah, really, really impressed so far. Um, the idea is it's completely a portable antenna. Uh, it's made by a guy called Paul. He's a you know very keen uh, radio amateur, builds antennas. Uh, I'll, I'll put a couple of pictures on the screen now of a couple of antennas that uh, he's built and they're, they're really impressive. So yeah, it's just something he does from home, a bit of a hobbyist. He's not got a factory, you know, he's not got a research department. It's just all on his own. Um, but he has a massive passion for... Uh, for building antennas, so he wanted to start his own uh, business really uh, called Hang Tenor. So, yeah, really, really impressed. But without further ado, let's have a look what you get in the box, right? So, I've had the actual antenna out for a couple of days, and I've actually had it in the garden as a test. So, I wanted to test it. So, what I've done is I've taken it down so that I could show you what you get in the box and, and sort of go through it with you that way. The beauty of this antenna is it literally is so easy to put up and down. You just literally hang it up there, hence the name hang tenor. So there's no setting up, there's no bolts to, you know, you've got to make sure your, your brackets are there, your bolts, it just hangs up and you, away you go. You put your uh, antenna in, pre-tuned for 10 and 11 meters. He does different variations on, on his Facebook page of, of different sort of SWR uh, tunes for, for different parts of the band but this one uh, will tune on 10 and 11 meters no problem with it i'm getting a, an swr about one one to three so it's really really well um i haven't tested it on 10 meters yet i did listen on 10 meters and i was hearing a couple of bits coming through but i've not actually transmitted on 10 meters yet but on 11 meters i've done some brilliant stuff on it and it's really really good so let's have a quick look what you, what you get so obviously this is the antenna, comes like this. So this is basically, if you're going portable, that's what you get. Um, so if you want to put it in your backpack, that's the whole antenna there. Really, really nice. Just away you go. As I say, Paul builds this himself. He tunes them individually. It's not a factory. He, he hand builds them, waterproofs it all, and tests every single one he does. So uh, yeah, really, really good job on that. So let's have a look what else you get. So obviously that's the antenna. I'll just put that down. And then you get a nice uh, card from him. So that's really nice, he's including that. So yeah, the guy's called Paul. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy the antenna on his Facebook page. But if you don't have Facebook and you're struggling to get hold of him, just drop me a comment or email me and I'll put you in touch with him. As I say, these, these sell £40 and they're absolutely brilliant. So anyway, that's the card you get in the box. And you also get the nice little leaflet you get with it. So I'll just check that you can see that on the camera. So yeah, that's the leaflet you get with it. So it's basically explaining how the antenna is made. So you've got an RF choke at the bottom, and then you've got RG8 Super X, an impedance matching stub, and you've got the capacitor and stranded copper wire. So we'll have a quick look. I'll extend it and show you each section as, as, as it's done. But it basically says, Many thanks for your purchase and welcome to your new antenna. You will notice that there is not your usual amount of bolts, screws, plugs, brackets and scary parts that takes you hours to assemble yourself before you even get to the tuning stage. The Hang Tenor is designed to take all the stress away. Take it out of the packaging, hoist it up on your non-metallic pole, now in my case I use the DX Commander pole, uh, or hang it from a branch of your favourite tree. Attach your coax and away you go. This antenna was designed and developed for portable use out on the hills and the emphasis was on quick deployment. However, I have personally used one in a fixed location for weeks at a time without any issue. Now you need to feed the pole through the center of the coaxial RF choke before extending your pole. The loop at the top of the stranded copper wire attaches to the top of your pole. If you are using the antenna for a long period, we suggest you tape it to the supporting pole just below the top wire and just above the RF choke to help support the weight. We'll do that later on in the video. Uh, the antenna is a centre fed 5 8 wave with an impedance matching stub. I've taken the basic design to the next level by fine tuning, strengthening and waterproofing it to give it long lasting service under adverse conditions that you will encounter when out on the hills. This antenna will take uh, the full legal limit of 400 watt CW intermittent but it has been designed for portable use and test tested as such using just the internal power of most HF radios 100 watt. 
so we recommend a power input rating of 100 watts. I hope you enjoy using the antenna and can leave good feedback on our Facebook page with any stories from your operations. This is really good of Paul. He seems to be more interested in how people uh, get on with his antenna than the, the actual business side of it. He just loves to hear stories of how you're getting out, where you manage to get to. I've been talking to him quite a bit on Facebook and he's he's a really, really passionate guy. Um, he really, really does does amazing. And as I say, I've had the antenna uh, for a couple of days and I'm, I'm super impressed with it. As you'll see in a, a video clip that I do, uh, me and Wayne have I've had two two different antennas here for 11 meters. I had the DX Commander, which was uh, had 10 meters on it, and I tuned it in to get 11 meters. And me and Wayne couldn't talk. And then we've also had, I bought a uh, sorry I made a quarter wave ground plane antenna specifically for 11 meters, which tuned perfectly. And me and Wayne uh, we couldn't talk at all. He just couldn't hear me on it at all. Put this antenna up, and as you'll see in a minute on the on the video. Uh, we actually made contact for the first time uh, on, on 11 meters and 10 meters. We're going to try that as well soon. So, uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. Really, really happy with it. Right, I just wanted to show you me extending it and sort of we'll have a quick look at it before I actually put it outside on the pole and get it put in the, in the bottom of the garden. So, as I say, that's exactly how you get it. Uh, really nice and portable. So, if you, as I say earlier, you know, you can just put it in your backpack and away you go. Just pop it out. Uh, just make sure I get it on the right way. Yeah, just pull, pull the antenna out, and then that's it. You're ready to go. So, looking at his, uh, his instructions that are included, so obviously that's the RF choke there, uh, and then it goes up to the impedance matching stub. So that's that. It's all waterproofed as well, so he's all you know. You don't have to worry about all that. He's all heat shrunk it and, and waterproofed it. Um, and as I say, it's completely pre-tuned, so once it's up, you don't have to worry really about SWR or anything. It should just be good to go, uh, and I can vouch for that. That's, that's what, exactly what I did. I just put the antenna up, and it was perfect straight out of the box. Um, so that's the beauty with this, really. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, if you get a silver rod, you have to, you know, adjust your SWR and stuff like that. Uh, but with one of these, you can just put it up, and, it, and you know, Paul's done all the work for you. Uh, so, yeah, basically, that's it. And then goes up to there. And then it goes up to this top part. Now, one thing I would say uh, in future, you know, as a sort of, if I could give it one negative, that that would be nice if it was black. Um, when it's up in the garden, you don't really notice it. You know, obviously at a distance, it's right at the top of the pole. Uh, but that's my only thing really. If that would would have been black. And then at the top of here, you have obviously is is waterproofed all that, and it's got like a cable type up there, so you can just uh, either put it on your tree. Uh, tie something to it, lob it over a tree, and then it will just hang. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. And then when you finish with it, yeah, you can just wrap it back up again. So I'll just do that quickly and just wrap it up like that, and then it'll just go straight in there, and then away you go. So like I say, if you're portable, this is absolutely perfect for that. So I'll just wrap that up like that, and then like that. Then you can put it back in your backpack again and away you go and it's not too heavy at all uh, obviously the heaviest part is the, the choke at the bottom um, but it, it just fits in there perfectly really really nice so i've tested the antenna for a, a couple of days now so i've had it in this position i'm going to put it in the tree um, at the back of the garden there because uh, the, the base of the antenna you might be able to see it on the video there is about seven foot off the ground on this uh, 9.5 meter pole so uh, yeah it's a cold morning today um, but today I'm going to do the, the main review and I'm going to uh, take it down uh, have, a, have a look around it and I'm going to put it in that bottom of that tree so there's the antenna uh, right in the middle of the garden for testing and I've worked really really well um, as you'll see in the video I've uh, managed to talk to Wayne for the first time ever um, which is about sort of 10 miles away from here uh, I'll show you on the map but uh, yeah absolutely fantastic so we'll have a look at it and uh, hopefully you like the video taken all the plastic bits off it and I've taped um, it all to it so hopefully it'll be alright so I've taken all the spaces off for the DX commander pole I've got it right up to the top the plan is to try and get it in that tree so that's the next job so as you can see 9.5 meter long pole so let's just see how this is going to work out so i'll show you when it's in the tree 
Right, so now it's in the tree, so I just need to tidy up and stuff, but you can see it there. So it's all nice in the tree now. Uh, I've sort of cable tied it straight to the tree. It's, uh, it's not going to go anywhere, that is absolutely solid. So I've just posted it on there. So that is absolutely perfect. I uh, just had a quick chat with uh, Wayne, um, you know, comparing it to when I had it in the middle of the garden, and he says it's loads better like this. So uh, absolutely perfect using the DX Commander pole, taking all the plastic caps off it. Uh, so I'm just using the pole itself, uh, taped it on there to keep it secure, and uh, it's working absolutely brilliantly. So uh, yeah, hope to do some more testing later. Right, so what I've done now is obviously I've put the antenna up. Um, I've heard lots of stations coming through. Now me and Wayne, sorry for the shaky camera, but me and Wayne, um, we've never actually met, made a contact on the CB. We've never actually done it before. Um, so this is going to be interesting to see if I can actually hear him and he can hear me. Um, you might and may or may not know I made the quarter wave ground plane and we tried to make contact and he was sort of at the back of the box but I couldn't make out what he was saying so it didn't really work so well. So we'll just give him a call. He's waiting for me on channel 25 so we're going to see. So let's have a, let's have a try. Yeah, hey there Wayne, it's Matt just doing a, a test on this new uh, hang tenor. Uh, hopefully you can hear me, as I say, we've never managed to speak before, so let's hope we can get through this time. Yeah, brilliant Wayne, that's amazing. Yeah, as I say, it's the first time we've actually managed to make contact, so... I uh, might put a bit of a map now showing the sort of distance that we're, you know, we're covering at the moment. Uh, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. Really, really impressed, mate. Yeah, that's, that's great, mate. Uh, just what antenna Yeah, it's called a hang tenor. So it's, um, obviously I'll leave the links in the description of the video. Um, it's just called a hang tenor. So there's no assembly. There's no, you know, like silver rod, you need to put all your brackets on and, and tune it all. It comes pre-tuned. You just hang it from a tree or... I'm using my DX Commander uh, pole already, and that's it. Jobs are good, and it's already perfect SWR, and, and away you go. Yeah, it's certainly doing the business for you. Uh, on that Yeah, thank you very much for the test, Wayne. Hopefully the, the sound's come through on the video, obviously, from the speaker of the sound, because I'm just sort of holding the, holding the camera and it's a bit shaky, but it, it seems to be working well, mate. But yeah, I appreciate the test, mate. As I say, you're giving me five and nine, so uh, you're booming in over here. No, this is absolutely standard. No, no interference whatsoever. It's just completely straight out the radio, and I'm just giving you legal power back out the radio. So, uh, yeah, five watts to you. Uh, absolutely fine. Yeah, no problem. I'll speak to you in a bit, Wayne. Yeah, seven three. Thanks again. Yeah, so there you go. That's a, the test, uh, on-air test of the uh, the Hang Tenor. Absolutely amazing. We've never, ever managed to make contact. So this is absolutely fantastic. Right, I just thought I'd come onto the computer, uh, just so I can show you where you get it from. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can buy it. As I say, if you don't have Facebook, get in touch with me, and I'll, uh, I'll put you in touch with Paul, and then you can get an antenna or find out more about it. So yeah, let's have a quick look. So, basically, this is his uh, Facebook page. Um, so if you go to the uh, shop now, you can see the different antennas. Now my antenna is the 582, I think it's a serial 002. Now the different serials are basically the different SWR you know, curves and stuff, the way it's tuned it for, for how you want to operate. So if I just click on one, I mean obviously I'm not going to pretend I know a lot about antennas because I really don't. Um, so Paul is your best man to, to contact. But on each, um, each uh, shop item, you have um, some uh, information that you can see on screen now that's showing you basically the SWR. Uh, as I say, he pre-tunes every single antenna before it leaves. So however you want it, he will make sure that's what it is before it leaves. Um, so this is showing you the different curves. So obviously this is the uh, serial 007. 
so now if we pick another one um, so this is the serial 004 so if we look at the curve now you can see it's slightly different so however you best want to use your antenna uh, just contact Paul or pick which one suits you best uh, but yeah really really good so uh, as you can see it's popped up here how you want to contact him sort of send him a message ask about it um, it looks like they're all 40 pounds so for, for that for, it's an absolute bargain I mean, if I, I'm going to use this antenna as a base antenna, I'm not going to go portable at all. I mean, I might do in the future, uh, but it's mainly going to be as a base antenna. Uh, now I've used it for a couple of days out in the garden, uh, it's sort of in the middle of the garden, uh, just supported with guy ropes, and it's worked amazing. Um, and I've got a small tree in the bottom of the garden there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the antenna uh, in the tree, uh, sort of tie it to the tree, and then the base of the antenna will just about clear the top of the tree and then it'll go up. So uh, absolutely fantastic. But as I say, just get in touch with uh, with Paul uh, and he, he will explain a lot better than I ever will. But uh, yeah, you know, really quick delivery, um, really helpful. You know, he knows a lot about antennas. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. So I also want to give a shout out to Dougie as well, who's actually the guy who um, put me on to this guy you know so big thank you to you Dougie he has a, a Facebook page called Northwest Fusion Group uh, which is a, a fusion uh, network um, it's also on DMR and other things as well you can see my post there that I've put of the antenna uh, when I set it up in the middle of the garden but they're a great group so if you have uh, fusion uh, or DMR you know all the information's here I'll leave a link in the description for that as well also on my website which I'll leave a link in the description I'm going to do a written review of this antenna probably give me a couple of days to do that with some nice pictures and bits and pieces so check that out and also check out Red Rose Repeater Group now this is me and my father-in-law's uh, G0HIJ uh, got a couple of well we've got three fusion gateways got one based here and two based at his house and there's also going to be a two meter analog voice repeater coming which is GB3 Ellswick Preston EP absolutely fantastic so uh, yeah ch don't forget to check it out hang tenor really really good so thank you very much for watching I really really hope you've enjoyed the video as I say I'm really impressed with the antenna so far it's working absolutely fantastically well um, so yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, please consider uh, subscribing if you haven't already it really means a lot to me if you would consider that and give the video a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you don't and until the next time I've been M6CB you've been very kind to watch 73